Hey, it's DT again. Welcome to another edition of Calculus Made Easy. So tonight we're going to be talking about integration by parts. So hope you enjoy it. And send me feedback, good or bad, because if I stink, I need to know. Because I don't want to put 20 videos up and they're all bad. Um, so let me know uh, how you like them. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about integration by parts and lots of times um, you'll see if you have an integral of this form um, they'll tell you the way to solve it is to have a u and a dv and let the u be equal to f of x and let dv equals to g of x dx okay that can get very confusing because lots of times you get confused with what's the u what's the dv and um what do you do afterwards and how do you fit it all together but today we're not going to be doing that um, so there's another way to look at integration by parts okay so we're going to write this down so it's easy for you to remember so integration by parts that's really the same as moving derivatives okay what do we mean by that? Okay, so let's say we have an integral, um, the integral of x times e to the x dx. All right. Now the way you should approach integration by parts is, um, which direction should I move the integral such that the integrand becomes simpler? Okay. All right. So first of all, you want to split the integrand into two parts. Um, in this case it's easy because you only have two you know, functions within the integrand. So do we want to take the derivative and move it from x to e to the x? That probably wouldn't be the best idea because when we remove the derivative from here to here then this derivative of e to the x stays the same. All right? It's probably a smarter idea to move the derivative from here to here. Okay? What do we mean by move, move the derivative? It means we take the antiderivative of one part of the integrand and we move it to the other part of the integrand. Okay, so let's make things a bit clearer here. Okay, so this is our example again. All right, so we want to take the integral of that now. Um, we want to take the antiderivative of v to the x and we pull it off of v to the x so when we pull the, the derivative off of v to the x then we leave it alone and we write it without the integral sign okay so for the first term you're going to remove the derivative from e to the x so the antiderivative of that is just e to the x and x stays the same okay so that's that you leave it alone then you put a minus sign then you put the integral sign and now what you do is you move the derivative onto the x so now your x becomes a 1 dot e to the x dx okay um, so you move this down and this should be an easy integral if this isn't then you probably shouldn't be uh, looking at this video you probably need to go to algebra so the derivative of e to the x is simply e to the x and there we have it. Well that looks like e times x. So we'll put it up here. So that's the answer um, to that integral. Um, okay so if you want to see if this in fact really is the answer then what you do is you apply the product rule. Um, you leave x alone and you multiply by the derivative of e to the x which is like so okay then you take the derivative of x which is one and you leave e to the x alone alright then you subtract well there's no product rule here since there's only one term so the derivative of e to the x is just simply e to the x so these terms cancel and in fact you get your integral 